This video segment is to help you memorize the alpha hemolytic streptococci. We will cover metabolism, virulence, diagnostic features, and pathologies of these critters. A detailed video about this group will be presented separately. Alpha hemolytic streptococci are found in pairs or long chains. These pathogens are catalase negative. To help you remember this metabolic property, we will make these pathogens as snakes. This is easy to remember now because snakes bite cats, so catalase negative, and spherical chains form snakes called streptococci. So remember catalase negative by no cats with the mean snakes. There are two types of pathogens in this group, streptococci viridans or S. viridans and streptococcus pneumoniae or S. pneumoniae or also called pneumococcus. Let us now start memorizing these. Streptococcus viridans. S. viridans make long chains of spheres which resemble mean adult snakes in our picture. Of course, gram-positive stain gives a snake purple color, but you already knew that. We will talk more about this pathogen in a little bit. For now, let us move it to a side and introduce our second friend. Streptococcus pneumoniae. This pathogen lives in short chains or pairs. We will treat it as a cute baby snake here. But don't be deceived by these cute looks of this baby snake. It is as destructive as the adult snake on the left. Check that the baby snake is made up of spheres that look like the tip of a lance. Also, there are only two of these living together. Due to its tendency to live in pairs, it is called diplococcus, where di means two. This pathogen is also called pneumococcus. Once again, the purple color of this cutie is due to the gram-positive stain. With this introduction, let us start memorizing these guys. Let us start developing our story of these mean snakes. Imagine that you are taking a walk in the park and come across this lake. The pathway around the lake looks like an alpha sign. This pathway should help you remember alpha hemolysis. Notice that water in the lake is green in color. Why green, you think to yourself? Hold that thought and I will explain in a few minutes. Alpha hemolytic streptococci cause partial RBC hemolysis. To memorize this, we will make some intact and other broken boats in the lakes. These boats will depict RBCs. Alpha hemolysis causes green tint due to partial RBC breakdown. Alpha symbol, the green color of the water, partially broken boats should help you remember partial hemolysis called alpha hemolysis. Let us continue our discussion and draw a few areas where these snakes cause pathologies. Let us draw nose, sinuses, brain, middle ear, and the lungs. These are the territories for the baby snakes, the pneumococci, where they cause pathologies. Remember these pathologies by the mnemonic MOPS. Imagine the baby snake mopping the floors. So the MOPS stands for meningitis, otitis media, pneumonia, and sinusitis. Also remember that strep pneumonia is bile soluble. To memorize this, we will draw a snake that is afraid of the bottle of bile. Also remember that these snakes are afraid of the chin. Because of this, we'll draw the chin on the other side and not on this side. This would help you memorize that pneumococci are optogen, optogen sensitive. To depict the MOPS pathologies, let us draw the pneumococci on lungs for pneumonia and on the sinuses, middle ear and brain for sinusitis otitis media and meningitis. Another important thing to remember is that the S. pneumoniae are capsular. This is one of their virulence factor. To remember this, let us draw a capsule around these baby snakes.
Okay, so let's keep studying. Let us attend the right side of this scene. We should place a heart under the chin. I will explain why we did that shortly. This side is for the S. viri dance. These pathogen can grow in bile. To memorize this, we will draw them hugging a bottle of bile. Ah, uh, cute. Look at them. These pathogens are brave and opt to live in the teeth near the chin. This will help us memorize that these pathogens are not optogen sensitive. Let us draw these pathogens in the teeth here. The disease these pathogens cause is subacute bacterial endocarditis, also called SBE. To remember this, we'll draw the snake biting the heart and see it is going all the way down from the teeth to the heart. The reason is that normally when you do oral procedures or you brush in the morning, that is when these pathogen would enter the bloodstream and reach the heart. If the heart's valves are already damaged, maybe due to a rheumatic fever or, or valve replacements or some other reasons, that is when these pathogens would then colonize the valves and start damaging them. So with this quick classification, let us do a review of what we have studied so far. In summary, alpha hemolytic streptococci are gram-positive, catalase negative, that is why they are depicted as snakes here, no cats for the mean snakes, sepharical, they usually live in pairs or chains, they cause alpha hemolysis, that means they do partial blood breakdown, Due to this, they appear as blue-green sheen in the blood agar. S. pneumoniae are capsular, diplococci, bile-soluble, and optogen-sensitive. These, these cause MOPs, that is meningitis, otitis media, pneumonia, and sinusitis. On the right side are S. viridans. These are not bile-soluble not optogen sensitive, found in long chains, and live in the gaps between the teeth. These can enter the bloodstream after brushing or oral procedures and can cause SBE, in already damaged heart valves. Thank you for your time, and we will continue with beta hemolytic and gamma hemolytic streptococci shortly.